will be a man on the day of judgment and he will be brought forth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his good deeds will be weighed on one side and his bad deeds will be weighed on the other side. And unfortunately, his bad deeds will outweigh his good deeds. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the angels, take this man to hellfire. He failed. This is a test that we all must prepare for. And he failed. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the angels, take this man to the hellfire. So as they're dragging this man to the hellfire, he starts looking around. He looks to his right and he looks to his left and he looks above him and he looks below him and he starts looking around. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the angels to stop. He tells, the, he tells the angels to stop dragging him to the hellfire. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks him a set of questions. And obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the answers to these questions, but he is opening a dialogue with his servant and he is teaching all of us a lesson through this dialogue. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the man, perhaps my angels missed something when they were writing down your good deeds. Perhaps they missed a deed here or there that might change your fate. He said, La ya Rabb, no my Lord, it's all there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, perhaps my angels were unjust with you. They were too quick to write down the bad deeds and maybe they did a few extra that weren't supposed to be there. He said, La ya Rabb, no, my Lord, it's all there. They got it right, it's, they're all there. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the man, why were you looking around? Why were you looking around when they were dragging you away? The angels were dragging you away. And the man says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I did not believe, I never truly believed that you were going to punish me. I never truly believed that you were going to punish me. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells his angels, put this man into Jannah because of his good opinion of me. Put this man into Jannah because of his good opinion of me. SubhanAllah. Brothers and sisters, this is the power of having husnu dhan billah, having a good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the power of falling in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know the, the hadith that Allah is as his servant thinks of him. If you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to punish you and get you on a technicality and he's the, the most harsh and the most tough, that's what you're going to receive. But if you are in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you believe in his rahmah and his mercy, then that is what you're going to receive. And obviously we always have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we need to have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. We need to fall in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well.